feel like a flashback to last year. Starting a video in an F-Type. Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Welcome to South Wales and the F-Type SVR. So if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen uh, a month or so ago, I started trolling Jaguar UK for access to an F-Type SVR. I don't think I've hidden from anybody the fact that I missed my F-Type since I saw it at the end of last year. And amazingly, the guys at Jag have pulled through and not only given me the keys to an SVR for a day or a, or a weekend, but for a month. I have the keys to this absolutely ostentatiously blue loud SVR until July. Oh, this could get very, very expensive. It's not exactly what I meant when I said expensive, but being the SVR, it's gonna need fuel. It's very windy out here. I don't know where exactly I've come to in Wales, but it's like a proper little car hub. There's a Focus RS over there. There seems to be some kind of old Rolls Royce rally going on. At our hotel, there was a Turbo S, a DB11 and an NSX, which left super early, so I didn't get them on camera, but. Hmm, a little car mecca going on in South Wales. Why am I actually in South Wales, you may ask? It's a good question. I think mainly because the minute this Jag got dropped off with me, I was like, I'm, I've got to take it on a trip. I don't want to just sit in London with it. But also because I'm indulging in a bit of travel vlogging and I'm visiting a place called Hay on Y. That's a real place, Hay on Y. I used to come here a lot when I was a kid uh, and it's kind of like a weird antique booky place. Uh, it might be crap. It is raining, it is very windy. But hey ho, why not? We're gonna explore. And it is just so good being back in a Jag. Now just to quickly recap for those that don't know, the SVR is the most powerful F-Type that Jag make. It has the same supercharged V8 engine up front that the R, my old car has, but instead of 550 PS, the SVR puts out 575. The car also has slightly different suspension and uses the all-wheel drive system to restrain some of that power, but that also makes it stupidly fast. The SVR will do 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and eventually take you on to 200 miles an hour. Now you may have seen that since I owned my F-Type, they've actually done a sort of facelift version for 2018. And this is an 18 model year SVR. However, for the SVR, there aren't as many cosmetic changes as there have been for the rest of the F-Type range. However, you do get a sort of new, a slightly different bumper at the front, some new LED headlights. Uh, inside is the, kind of where the main changes happen. There are now some super lightweight seats. I don't know if you can see they're like, they're crazy thin, much thinner than the ones I used to have. And then the all new uh, infotainment system, which I have to say is miles better. I've just turned the car off actually. Yeah, okay. I'll show you that later, but um, uh, that is miles better. Apart from that, there's not a whole lot of changes. Oh yeah, the seats are slightly different. Can you see now, as well as quilted, it is perforated leather. I just feel like the SVR has so much more presence on the road, the wing, the massive front intakes. It's just something about it. It just sits lower and more aggressively anyway. We are now in Hay on Wye, my uh, travel vlog destination for the day. This place is all about books. I don't actually like books, so it could be quite interesting. But as I said, I haven't been here since I was a young kid, so let's go explore.
So literally the last time I was here, I must have been about seven years old. It was always a stop off point on the way to see my granny. And I just remember being tortured because I just hated books that age. I mean, I still can't read. I mean, don't read. Um, so it was like my worst nightmare. But now it's so cool. There's so many like weird little alternative shop, hipster coffee shops, my dream. Um, yeah, <laughs> hey on why has become legit. Maybe it was always legit. I was just too young to appreciate it. So this is actually ridiculous. This book right here, Two Tools to Taxi, was my favorite book when I was like seven years old. I'd read it about a thousand times per night, mainly because it was super simple in a kid's book, but this will be mine. Right, amazing. I literally saw that straight away and was like, oh my God, Two Tools, my hero. Absolutely. Have a great day, thank you very much. <laughs> Now, I, I didn't just come here to reminisce about my childhood and pretend to buy some books. Actually, I did buy a book, didn't I? What a lad. Um, I also came to the south of Wales because this is where the Brecon Beacons are. The Brecon Beacons have some pretty awesome driving roads. So, windows down. Oh! So that's me enjoying some 90s pop there. Let's start up the jag. Can't help but see so antisocial in this car. SVR, I still owned my F-Type R and whilst it does feel noticeably quicker this car and the all-wheel drive system makes it super pointy, it was too similar at the time and I was a little bit like, Meh. it's good but I'm not exactly going to replace my current car with one. But jumping into one now after spending a week with a 4A and obviously owning a bloody 540C, oh, you just realise what a powerhouse this thing is. And it sounds so good! Yes, I will admit that the all-wheel drive system has taken away some of the sort of lariness, but it has been replaced with just back crazy speed! <laughs> and today it's a little bit wet, a little bit greasy, and you can just have so much more confidence. Where do these roads go? I have no idea where I am. I'm on the top of some kind of moorland while Brecon Beacons. Sheep everywhere, sheep poo everywhere. But this car is just... <laughs> I have, which is a very nice dilemma to have, is where would the F-Type SVR fit into my life? Because just given the last 24 hours that I've had the keys to a Jag, again, I know by the end of the month that I've got this car, I am desperately going to want one again. I mean, to be honest, I want one again already, but I just want to get too carried away with myself. But 
it couldn't really replace the Abarth. This is a 120 grand car, new, with all the options from new, because I've checked, I've already been on the Jag configurator. And how would it replace the 540C? Because it's such a different car. And that's not to say it's a downgrade. I think it's more of a sidestep. And whilst I would love to have a GT car back in my life, do I want to go back and have another F-Type? I don't know, I say, I'm definitely getting way too carried away, but that is because I love these things so much. And just coming up here to a tiny, narrow Welsh, Welsh road has got me already thinking about these things. Anyway, so much planned with the F-Type SVR. There is a mahoosive road trip coming. This week, I will be driving this car all over Europe. I cannot wait to share more details with you guys. I hope you're excited anyway to see a Jag back on the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you are and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.